All right, so we're ready to do another addition problem. And remember, we're working with sums up to five. That means our answer is going to be no greater than five. All right, so we're going to write another problem out, and we're going to solve the problem using three different strategies. The first one's going to be paper. The, uh, the second one's going to be using cubes. And the third one's going to be actually showing your work uh, using bubbles by drawing them. Okay, so here's our next problem. Two plus one equals, and I'm going to draw a box, and that just lets me know that I need to put some kind of answer there. Okay, so two plus one equals, mm. I always do the mm sound when I don't know. Okay, so we're going to use the first strategy that I talked about. We're going to use paper. Uh, for my two, I need to show two pieces of paper. One, two. And then for my one, I need to show one piece of paper. One. Now, when we're adding, we're putting things together. Okay? You can say that with me. Put things together. Put things together. Okay, so I'm going to need to put my two and my one together to see what the other side is going to be. Uh, the equal sign means same as. So that means two plus one is the same as whatever this number is. So put them together, slide them over, and I'm going to neatly put them in a row, or a column, actually. Here we have them, and now I'm going to count. One, two, three. Three. So two plus one equals three. You could also read that as two plus one is the same as three. See, writing a numerical equation is exactly like reading a sentence with words. You're just using uh, mathematical numbers and symbols, like the plus sign and the equal sign. Okay, so let's erase our answer, the sum. Remember, the sum is your answer to an addition problem. Um, I'm going to put the paper up, and now I'm going to use blocks, okay? Or you might call them units cubes. All right, so for the two, I'm going to show two units cubes. One, two. Um, once again, these colors that I chose were completely random. There's no science behind what I'm doing here or why I'm picking what color. And underneath the one, I'm going to put one cube, okay? Now, since we're adding, we're putting things together to find the sum. The sum is our answer to the addition problem. So 2 plus 1 equals, mm, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to slide them over. All right. Now, we're going to put them in a nice, neat column here. I've got them stacked. Now I'm going to count them. One, two, three. Three. There's two ways that you can read this addition sentence. You could say 2 plus 1 equals 3. Or, if you remember, the equal sign means same as. So you could say 2 plus 1 is the same as 3. So when you have 2 and you have 1 and you add one more to the 2, it equals 3. Okay? Cool. Now, let's show another way to do this problem. But this time we're going to use bubbles because you don't always have blocks or cubes. You don't always have paper ripped up to count with. Um, and, you know, you don't always have enough fingers to count either. Well, now, in this case, you would, but uh, we're not going to use our fingers for this uh, problem. So, we're going to use bubbles. So, we have 2 plus 1 equals... Mm. So, underneath the 2, I'm going to draw two bubbles. It's important that you draw bubbles and not dots because the dots can get confusing. One, two. And then under the one, I'm going to draw one bubble. Now I'm going to put them together because I'm adding. So I'm going to put them together by drawing a giant circle, or you could call that an oval, all the way around. Okay? Now, the reason I made bubbles is because now I'm going to count my total or sum, and I'm going to find out how many I have. And the way that I do that, and the way that I make sure I count every single bubble, is by kind of like tapping a dot in the middle of the bubble, like this. One, two, three. So my sum would be three. Two 
2 plus 1 equals 3. Do you see how I have the dot in the middle of the bubbles? That lets me know that I counted every single one and that my answer is right. It's just kind of a way that I hold myself accountable. So you could read this problem as 2 plus 1 equals 3, or since the equal sign means same as, you could read it as 2 plus 1 is the same as 3. All right, boys and girls. Well, I hope you had fun um, at adding with me today, and check out some of the other videos that I've got. We're going to work on some harder addition problems, and remember, practice makes perfect. So I'll see you later. Bye.